Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ancient Aliens and Ultraviolence with extra multiplayer enemies. This is map 18, Illuminati Revealed. Okay, the map with the Temple of the Illuminati, the one with the spinning all-seeing eye. So, from what I understood during the blind stream, that temple is like a pseudo-icon of sin, and it will constantly spawn enemies around the temple. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass if you want to go for all the kills, not because you have to kill the enemies. Thankfully the enemies spawned by the icon do not count towards the kill counts, but you cannot tell them apart from enemies that are placed by the mapmaker, those that do count towards the kill counts. So eventually there's going to be so many enemies, and let's say you have one enemy left on the kill counts, you cannot tell which one you're supposed to kill. So I hope I don't get bullied too much, because I don't feel like running around like an idiot searching for the final enemy. I'm not even searching, I have to probably kill a lot of enemies to find the real one. So these Kakunimans, these are real. I think I'll refer them as real enemies and fake enemies, so... Enemies spawned by the icon are fake. Enemies placed by skill soul are real. So these are real, let's just kill them now before it gets too crowded. So that pinky that it just spawned, that one is probably fake, so if I kill him... The kill count doesn't change. Um, the Hell Knight as well. I think I just need to get out of here. So, these Mankibai, these are real. Let's kill them. Also, a box of rockets here that I would like to have. Oh, two boxes. Alright. And these enemies, I should probably have kill. These are all fake. Let's just move on. Uh, I think I have to go over here. Oh, this is the area with all the stealth troopers. Yeah, I remember this. There's also a secret supercharger somewhere. Okay. Flying bastards. So good thing is the Icon of Sin cannot spawn flying bastards. And it cannot spawn stealth troopers either. At least, I hope, but it wouldn't make sense. Because no enemies got replaced in Ancient Aliens. Except for Wolfenstein guys, which do not spawn by the Icons in any way, so just like the zombies. Um, so more Kekos. Are these real? I have no idea. Should probably kill them. Okay, Revenant's probably fake. Let's just move on. Health Reaper is real. Should I wait for the Kekos? Because they may count towards the kill counts. Let's find out. 57? 57. No, these are fake Kekos. 58. That one was real. Uh, Revenant fight? No. Just Imps? Okay. I don't mind that. Oh, I think the Revenant spawn when I press this switch then. Uh, prepare the plasma just in case. Or not. No, these are just all knights. I swear there were revenants here. Guess not. Alright, got the red key. Um, still the supercharge to get. Or supercharge again. Oh! That's not a supercharge, it's a mega sphere. 67, uh, 76. 76 76 fake fake Megasphere is the secret Oh wait uh, What the hell? Oh there's an arch there That's a very mean teleport destination uh wait where do I go then? I saw an arch fall um I'm actually curious now. What are the rules for Archfall spawned by the Icon of Sin? Resurrecting enemies that are spawned by the mapmaker. Or placed by the mapmaker. Because normally Arch Resurrections need to be killed. To get um, all the kills. Because... I don't know where to go. When Archfall resurrects something, the kill count decrements again. I go here? But what if the Icon of Sin spawned the Archfall? Does it still count? 
Well, I don't know. Um, where's the red door? Let's kill that guy. Rushers. I remember this section somewhat. Was it difficult? I don't remember. Those lost souls may become a problem. Oh, flying bastards too. That's also a problem. Oh, what the hell? Kekka demons. Where did you come from? Oh, the map is spawning Kekka demons now. Uh, wait, where do I go? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, Luki. So these Kekkos are all real? Okay. That's gonna be very annoying then. Oh, there's enemies here. And I've got the supercharge, no! I didn't see the supercharge at all. It's also mega armor here. Might as well take it. I need to get out of here. Oh, flying bastards, why? Okay, let's just plasma everything here. Oh my god, those Kekos. Those are not icons in Kekos. Definitely not. Ooh, I'm gonna be busy. How do you kill them? I'm supposed to kill those. Like, are these real? 125, 125, 127. It jumped to 126 between the Kako kill and me counting. Um, well, the honest, I need to kill. Oh, there's so many Kakos. What do I do? Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to jump down. Or maybe I do? What's here? Wait, can I go there? I can, but why? Also, are there monster blocking line depths? Yeah, the Kakos can't even go here, so... Let's just go... Oh. Oh, there's an arch farm. Where's the arch farm? Oh my god, oh, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. I have lots of plasma, but... There are also a lot of Kakarimas and they're all gonna come in here. Oh god. Oh, and the Barons are also coming. Oh no, I'm so dead. I need to get out of here. Oh, how do I get out of here? I can jump down here. Let's go. Let's get out. But I cannot leave this place. Wait, I can. There is the steps. Right over there. Yeah. Ooh. Good escape. Okay, now what? I have the blue key. Uh, this is the blue switch. A bunch of rockets. Just plasma through the aims to make some space. Right. Should I grab the blue key? Yeah, sure. And then... I can actually rocket the Kakos from... No, I cannot. I don't have enough rockets for this. I can rocket the Hell Knights. And I think I saw Cyber Demon. Yeah, there's a Cyber Demon here. Okay, that's actually a good thing. The Cyber can help out. It's also the Mega Sphere. Yeah, the Cyber's gonna help me kill the Kakos then. Also, I need to grab the rockets here. Okay, Cyber. Shoot. Oh! Wow! I wasn't sure if he was going to target the Kakos, but in the end he did, thankfully. Okay, but what do I do? Do I just wait? Until all the Kakos are dead? But I don't know when to... Stop. When do I know enough is enough? Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be like sneaky Kakos like, on the other side of the map that I... Couldn't kill from here. I'm very happy the Cyber is busy at least. Maybe I should stay close to him so all the Kakos come over here. Maybe the Cyber will even die, that'd be great. I don't have many cells. I have 20 rockets, I could probably kill some Kakos. Don't want to waste the rockets on the lost cells though. But these are all. Well, most of these Kakos are spawned by. The map, as in 
skills are placed, these Kakka Demons. Yeah, I remember during this, the stream, people were like, oh, this map is a pain in the ass to UV Max, and I can see why. Which Kakka Demons... Which ones are real, which ones are fake? I really need that Cyber here. Oh, I still have the Megazord. I'll grab it just for the armor. I need the Cyber over here. What are you doing? I'm wasting my, my ammo, I think. There's also a Mechibi in the back with the flying saucers. Okay, Saibi, be useful. Did you? Yes, perfect. Oh, delicious. Look at that. Oh, that is just a sight to behold. Well, the kill count is slowly going up, so I'm doing something right. But again, I don't know when to when to go back. When do I go for the yellow door? Because the yellow door is the exit. But how many enemies are beyond the yellow door? That's what I don't know. So when do I... I don't want to retreat. I think I'll just go back when I when there just are no Kakadimons left anymore. So these two, are they real? 241, 242, 243. Yeah, these are still real. I have a chain gun, I can use that. But I also still need to kill the Cyber Demon. 240. No, that was a fake echo. What about this one? 243, 243, 243 still. And there's still Kakos here, lots of them. Oh, there's an Archfall too. I don't think the Archfalls spawn by the icon resurrect. Um, they decrement the kill count when resurrecting stuff. Try to plasma just in case. Please. Ah, so many pain elementals too. This is very exciting. <sighs> Need the cyber to hit these cacos. Come on, come on, hit him, hit him! Oh my god, stupid Gekkos! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna kill the Cyber. This is too dangerous. Hopefully he... Okay, he took a lot of damage. Uh, I could Plasma the Gekkos then. 245... 2.45... 2.46... Some are real, some are not. That's annoying. You, are you real? 246? 246. Oh, these are all fake. Wasted my ammo. 246. Maybe I should just go to the exit. Maybe I killed all the Kakos already. It's hard to tell. <sighs> Got rockets here. Oh, an Archfoss. Three Arch... Four Archfoss. Oh, and the Kakos are coming too. Oh, and I got zapped. Oh, I'm out. Any health here? Yes. But I'm really screwed. Uh, can I even get out of here? Oh, this. Yes, okay. Whew. Okay. And this ammo. Okay, I'm good. I think. But I need to kill the Archfiles. Uh. Wait. Wh no, what? There's a BFG! Did that miss a BFG? Why? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, okay, I still have the archers, but screw this. Okay, let's go the bank by. Oh, no! Freaking... Oh, what the... What the... Oh my god. 
What a roller coaster. I discovered a BFG. Did I not know about this BFG during the blind stream? Oh, still two enemies left. Who is it? Who is the final enemy? Who are the two final enemies? I'm pretty sure the exit has no enemies. Because I think the map after this is where you crash, right? So... You go into the flying saucer and then you die. That's... Um, that's how this map exits. There are no enemies in the flying saucer, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, I have 10 rockets. Hopefully some of these Kekos are... are real. Oh, they're not. Which one is the real Gecko? I'm pretty sure I left an arch for alive, maybe that's the one I haven't killed. I need to get out of here. I need to get out and I need to seek the enemies. Oh, but I cannot! Look how many enemies there are! Oh, shit. I have no ammo either. I need to lure all the enemies away. I need to lure them away. And I need to be able to run. <coughs> I need to get out of here. I cannot. Oh. One kill left. One kill. Oh. I got him. Oh. I got all the kills. Oh my god. I don't know what died, but it's done. Oh my god. Alright, let's crash this flying saucer. Oh no! Ah. Oh my god. Jeez, that was clutch. Holy shit. This map is exciting. <laughs> Normally I, do not I don't like Icon of Sin maps, but this is... If you want to UV max this, this gets very interesting. Those cacodemons, oh my god, how... I, yeah, jeez. People are not kidding during the blind stream. This map is a pain in the ass to the UV max. How do you speedrun this? How do you know which cacodemons to kill first? How do you know... How do you optimize this? That is... That's bizarre. That was really enjoyable, well done. I... I think it's a really good skill to have if you can um, make an icon of sin up enjoyable. During the blind stream I didn't enjoy it that much, I didn't even bother getting all the kills. But now, doing this like, I wouldn't call it practiced, because I don't know which enemies were multiplayer only. I did know the mechanics of the map a bit, but the icon of sin spawning stuff and knowing that I don't have to kill them. But man, those calculums, I did not expect that many. Or I don't remember that many. Well, let's see what Doom Boulder says. I honestly don't expect anything multiplayer only in this map, but let's go check it out and uh, yeah. Okay, here we have Doom Boulder. Let's select all the multiplayer things in this map. Oh, 55. So there are extra enemies, or maybe it's only items. We'll see. Um, let's go check out the starting area. Where is the start? Where do you start this map? Where is it? Up here. Is it here? No. Where is the beginning of this map? Ah, here it is. Right. Okay, so I... Oh. I didn't pay attention to all these backpacks, but apparently they're all multiplayer only. Well, it makes sense, because each player has to hold a lot of ammo, so why not play as four of them? Or... War. Damn, that's like one, two, three, four, five extra backpacks. Oh, and these are all multiplayer only as well. Ah, look at that. Okay. But what about enemies? There's mostly ammo. There's the cell pack over there. Let's do a top few. Where's the next enemy? Oh. Oh. There's an extra spawner. How many? One. Ah. Look, there's two of them. Multiplayer, there's an extra spawner. Interesting. That's why it got so crowded. Makes sense. But I don't see any enemies. Only ammo. 
Oh, 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 look at that. All these Kakurimans. I knew it. There were way, way too many Kakurimans. There were way too many Kakurimans. This is why. These are all multiplayer only. How many extra? 32 extra Kakurimans. Man, that's crazy. So this is even a more pain in the ass to UV Max on multiplayer. Are those the only enemies? Seems like it. So 32 Kakurimans and an extra cube spawner. How does the cube spawner work then? Uh -huh, so the cube spawner is out of bounds. Or the icon of sin. Wait, where is the icon of sin? How does he wake up? Oh wait, you make a sound, so I'm pretty sure. Um let's see where's the sound? Sound, 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 yeah. Yeah, see? So sound propagates into this area. And the icon wakes up. And he's gonna spawn cubes to these targets. So six of them. And then is this a scrolling floor? Yeah. The floor scrolls the spawned enemy to these teleporters. Interesting. So enemy spawns, scrolls to the teleporters, and then they teleport in the map. So I thought at first um, the cubes are invisible, so this spawn cube uh, spawn cube spawner. Damn, I cannot speak today. Cube spawner shoots cubes around the temple and then the enemies spawn but that doesn't make sense because i did see the teleport fog so the enemies teleports from here so out of bounds they spawn enter a scrolling floor get pushed into a teleporter that's how they appear in the map interesting but i'm curious if this map fills up with enemies then this fails eventually doesn't it or do they oh they teleport back over here so if all these teleporters fail because they're occupied, then they will cross these teleporters and they will like loop back. But what if this is occupied by whatever? Then the enemies get stuck here eventually? I don't know, but that's interesting design. I like when uh, multiplayer adds like an extra cube spawn. I think Plutonia did the same thing. Such a subtle thing. But yeah, that explains why it got so crowded. So yeah, mostly extra ammo, and then the 32 Kakurimans. Very cool. I really like seeing this, like, creative multiplayer uh, exclusive things. That's why I did this playthrough with uh, multiplayer only, because I knew Skillzone was going to do some interesting things, and he did. So yeah, cool stuff. You made an icon of Sin map enjoyable. Well done. I'll see you guys in map 19. And I wish you all a very beautiful day.